With all of your footage imported, go to your File menu in Premiere and save your project. With your project saved, look in your footage folder and find the keep or take of your master scene for your very first scene. Click on it and drag it to your timeline. If you're asked to change the sequence settings to match your footage, go ahead and click Change Sequence Settings. Now, go ahead and watch your master scene. I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio since we don't need the audio. And in this scene, we have some girls sitting by a locker, standing by a locker and chatting, and all of a sudden they see something that scares them off. We're not sure what that is yet. They have some chatting and stuff. So this kind of plays it out, and they get afraid, and they run off. So that's the master scene. We can leave that play now, and now we're going to look at the other footage and decide how we're going to cut into this master scene with the coverage. When you found your first shot to cut into your master scene, double-click on it. So it shows up in the source viewer. And now you can look back and decide the point. So in this case, we have somebody walking up. So I'm going to take it right from the beginning and press the I key to start an in point, and then slide it up to where we're going to have this mysterious person just kind of stop and stare. And this will be the out point. So I'll go back to the timeline and I'll look and decide, okay, so we have some girls just kind of sitting here. We let them establish for a little bit. I'm going to use this razor tool here by choosing the razor tool and clicking right here where I'm going to split the scene. And now I can go ahead and use my selection tool and separate this. And now I'll go back to my source window and click and drag the shot down and just place it right next to that shot. Okay, now I'll go ahead and move my scene back and take a look and see how it plays. So I've got some girls just kind of sitting here chatting away and I've got this mysterious figure kind of walking over, stopping and staring at them. They kind of look over. They kind of notice them. I'm going to stop it there, use my razor tool to cut again. Selection tool to move things over. I'll go back over here to my source and play it. Okay, so I want to take it right after this person is just kind of standing here. I'll choose the eye for the endpoint, play it. And now they start walking towards the girls. I'll press O and drag my shot down. I'm going to go back to this shot and the girls notice that this creep is walking towards them so they start to move away. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten that a little bit and now click in this gap here so that I can move these scenes together and I'll hit delete. So now I can play the scene together and take a look at the pacing. Now maybe here this first scene is a little bit too long. I might shorten that. Now I've got the creep coming in. He kind of stops and stares. The girls chat, but they notice this creep over there. They're wondering what's going on. And now he starts walking towards them. And now they think, oh my gosh, we're going to get out of here. And that kind of starts the chase going. Now notice they start running around a corner. So before I move on, I'll go back over here and just shorten my shot a little bit. And I'll tell you what, to zoom in on the timeline here, I'm just going to press the plus key and expand the view. And now I can kind of shorten the beginning here just a little bit. Again, click in the blank space and hit delete. And now when I play it, I've just got some chatting going on. Maybe it's not too long and we see the scene. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that so far. I'm going to press the minus key now while I'm in the timeline to kind of reduce it down. And now I need to find my next shot. I'll double click on my next shot, bring it up into the source viewer, and then I'll scroll through and see. So here's a different camera angle as the girls approach the first corner. So I'm going to get a sense as they start to run around the corner. I'll go back to my timeline here and see where they go. So they run all the way off. And here the first girls are starting to round the corner. 
So I'm going to go ahead and shorten my scene to right here. So I'll just click here with my selection tool, float over till this arrow points to the left, and just kind of drag and shorten it. So now I'm to the end of this shot. I'll go up here to the source viewer and decide I want to take it just as they start to round the corner. I'll press the I key for an endpoint and watch and see how it goes. So I'll let these girls run out of the frame and one girl's on the ground. So I'll press the O key. She has tripped. I'll now click on this image and drag it down to my timeline. And I can see how it goes. So I'll play it in real time by pressing the space bar. And they run and they go around the corner and she falls. Okay, so now I need to go back to the creep. So I'll go through my footage here and see if I can find the creep. Now, when this was shot, I'll double click this, we have the same action but we're intercutting. So here we have the lockers. I'll press the I key and we'll let the creep run up to the poor girl on the ground. And he gets up to her, so I'll press the O key and click and drag it down. So let's see how this plays. He starts to run, starts to approach her. Okay, let me see what I have for another angle with her on the ground and the creep starting to approach her. It looks like it's this one. Okay, so the creep is starting to come into the frame. And I'll take him right about, I'll have him just out of the frame and press the in key. And I'll let it go to where he starts to kill her. And we'll be out right there. Okay, so I'll drag this down and see how it plays. He comes up. Okay, I think I'm going to shorten a piece. Take it to right there maybe. And let's see how this other piece goes. Take it to right. Well, let's see, we've got him running. He's there. We've got him running here. I'll take it right about there. Now, because the camera has changed angles, it doesn't really play that smoothly here. So I'm going to see if I can use a different shot of the other girls running away. Okay, so I'm looking for other footage. I've gone through my footage and see that I've got a shot of the girls that are still running. So I'm going to take it just before this door opens. Click the endpoint and let them just run out of the shot and click the O key for the out and I will drag this down and now I'll go to the next shot with them running which is I believe this one here and let's see yep, they come out so I'll take it just before they enter the frame here, press the I key, let them run, and of course, oh no, another, another girl has fallen. Press the O key, drag this down. So let's see, I've got some shots, I'm going to rearrange some things. So I first got them running off, so maybe I'll put uh, that between this shot and the other one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rearrange some shots. Now the thing is with Premiere, if you're going to rearrange it, move whatever shot you're rearranging all the way to the end. Go ahead and drag the scene you want over. I'll slide this one over. and I'm just going to move it. And now, let's see, so I've got the creep coming up. I've got the other girls running away. I go back. This creep has gotten these. this girl and is taking care of her. And Let me hit the gap here and delete it and see the other girls running down the stairs, still trying to get away. One of them falls, of course. Okay, now I need to find the shot with the creep running through the same area again. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
And here he is, and I'm going to take it just as he starts to come through this door. So I'll press the I key, and then I'll go ahead and let him just start to run out of the shot. And press the O key, click and drag this down. And now I'll go back to the shot where the girl is on the stairs. So I'm going to take it just before the creep comes into the shot. So I'll press the I key and drag it to where he starts to take another victim. And press the O key and drag it down. And I'll play through my sequence every once in a while to see how it's playing out. And now we've got the other girls running. And one of them, of course, stumbles again. And she becomes the next victim. And here comes the creep. And the creep is coming up. And he starts to take care of her. So continue through building your sequence. I'm going to jump ahead and show you how mine has come together. Make sure you save your project often.